Hi boys and girls, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. Are you ready to have another story time with Miss Jenny? I hope so, I think it's gonna be a fun one. Let's start out by saying hi to everybody out there, okay, with our hello song. Here we go. Hello everybody, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody, how are you? How are you today? Well, boys and girls, I hope you came up with different ways to say hello to people with your little song at home. Maybe use an elbow, maybe you wink your eye, maybe wiggle your ear. There's all sorts of different ways to say hello. Well, today in story time, I decided I was hungry. So we're gonna do a story time about food today. And we're gonna do one of my favorite foods to eat at a ballpark. And in our story, or our little flannel, there's a word in it. Can you see what this word is? It might be kind of hard to see on this flannel, so I'm gonna help you. It's B-A-M. And when you put those three letters together, you get the word BAM! And when we come to that part in our flannel story, I want you to go BAM, okay? And also it starts off, you're gonna have one hand be a frying pan, and this hand we're gonna count down. And you're gonna put some fingers in your frying pan. And your finger is gonna be pretend hot dogs, okay? So we're gonna do five little hot dogs in a frying pan. So we're gonna start off with our frying pan, and we're gonna count our hot dogs. See if we can put five in our pan. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you ready? You have your frying pans out and your hot dogs ready to go in there? Okay, here we go. Five little hot dogs in a frying pan. The grease got hot and one went Now how many hot dogs do we have? Four, can you show me four? Okay, get out your frying pan. Four little hot dogs in a frying pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. Now how many hot dogs do you see in the frying pan? Three. Three little hot dogs in a frying pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. Now, how many hot dogs do you see? Two. You put those two hot dogs in your frying pan? Here we go. Two little hot dogs in a frying pan. The grease got hot and one went bam! Now, how many hot dogs are left in the frying pan? Just one, that's right. Here we go. One little hot dog in the frying pan. The grease got hot and it went BAM! Now how many hot dogs are in our frying pan? None are there. Zero. No little hot dogs in the frying pan. The grease got hot and the pan went BAM! Now there's nothing left, is there? Yeah. All right, boys and girls. Well, today, speaking of food, we're going to read a story about... Hungry Bird by Jeremy Tankard. Remember we read this bird? Does he look familiar to you? We read another book by Jeremy Tankard. It was called Grumpy Bird. And this bird was so grumpy in that story. He was so grumpy he could hardly walk. Well, in this story, he's hungry this time. So let's see what he does with his friends. Let's see if he brought a snack. Let's see if he depends on them for a snack. I wonder what he likes to eat. What do you guys like to eat? Is there anything special you like to eat? Do you like hot dogs? Yeah. Do you like, well, let's see what he likes to eat. Here we go. Bird, Hungry Bird by Jeremy Tanker. Here we go. Bird and his friends had just set out on a hike when birds tummy rumbled. I'm getting hungry, said Bird. I'd 
might need something to eat. The other animals didn't answer. They were too busy enjoying their hike. Hey, Fox said, Bird, did you pack something for me to eat? I'm a bit, I'm a bit peckish. Hmm, I brought some yummy berries. Would you like a few? No, thanks, said Bird. Berries are not my favorite. Suit yourself, said Fox. Bird's tummy rumbled louder. Hey, Beaver, said Bird. Have you brought anything delicious to eat? I'm hungry. I have lots of nice crunchy sticks, said Beaver. Would you like some? Sticks, said Bird. Are you crazy? Birds don't eat sticks. Well, beavers do. Yum, said Beaver. Bird's legs were growing very weak. Hey, sheep, said Bird. You pack, do you pack anything tasty? I'm starving. Hmm, said sheep. I have some delicious grass. We could share it. Grass? said Bird. I think you mean gross. Who wants to eat grass? I do, said Sheep. It's scrumptious. Hmm. This bird's really fussy for asking friends for food, isn't he? Bird could not go one more step. Hey, raccoon, said Bird. Please tell me you've remembered what I like to eat. I'm ravenous. I have this nice sandwich, said Raccoon. Would you like half? Sandwich, said Bird. Yuck, that sounds disgusting. Oh, it isn't, said Raccoon. It's a melody of flavors. What does it mean, melody? It means there's lots of different flavors in that sandwich. Bird was sure he was going to pass out from hunger. Hey, Rabbit, shouted Bird. Give me something to eat now. How about a carrot, said Rabbit. Carrots are delicious. Carrots are orange, shouted Bird. How on earth can I eat a carrot? Hmm, you crunch it, said Rabbit. Like this, crunch, crunch. This bird's getting pretty fussy, isn't he, for being so hungry. Bird's tummy roared and he collapsed to the ground. He laid there, he had fallen, he laid there some more. There's Bird on the ground. He is famished. He is so hungry. You must, you mean none of you, packed me a snack that I like, Bird called to his friends. If I don't eat this very instant, He's going to die to you. Bird's friend had stopped to rest on a log and eat their snacks. They called to him. Bird could hardly hear them over their noisy, his noisy tummy. Be quiet, tummy, whispered Bird. I'm starving to death here. Bird looked at his friends happily munching away. He was too hungry to walk. So he crawled over to them. Okay, fine. I'll try your snack, said Bird. He's tasted some berries. Hmm, these taste very round. He nibbled on some sticks. Crunchy. He chewed on some grass. I feel like a sheep. Bird tried the sandwich. It's not disgusting as I thought. He even ate a carrot. Hmm, not bad. It does taste orange, but I like it. Hmm, suddenly he's not so picky, is he? Just then, Fox spotted something wiggling in the grass. Bird, he said, your favorite snack. Ah, what is that, boys and girls? Can you see it? It's a worm, isn't it? Do you think Bird's going to snap that worm up? Do you think he's going to eat that worm? Let's see. Oh, 
No thanks, said Bert. What? I'm thirsty. Now, who brought me a drink? That bird. He's so fussy. He always depends on his friends for something, doesn't he? Well, speaking of all those wonderful things that all those animals like, I thought we'll do a song together. And we're going to sing this song. It's called I Am Hungry. And it's to the tune of Are You Sleepy? But of course, we're not going to say, are you sleepy? And we're going to sing, I am hungry. And we, I thank Jay Library for this song. So moms, dads out there, care givers, if you're looking for some music to do with your children, go to Jay Library on the internet and you'll find some fun songs. They're about from two librarians that from, are from Canada. So here we go. Can you rub your tummies, boys and girls? Okay. And you can sing this song with me once you catch on. I am hungry, I am hungry, what shall I eat, what shall I eat? I think I'll have a taco, I think I'll have a taco with lots of meat, lots of meat, hmm, I'm still hungry. I am hungry, I am hungry, what shall I eat, what shall I eat? I I think I'll have some noodle soup. I think I'll have some noodle soup with lots of heat. With lots of heat. Oh, that was hot. I need to blow on my soup before I ate it. Mm, I'm still hungry. Hmm. I am hungry. I am hungry. What shall I eat? What shall I eat? I think I'll have a popsicle. I think I'll have a popsicle. Cold and sweet. Cold and sweet. Uh, boys and girls, all that food made me hungry. Maybe today you can sing a song about what you're hungry for. Maybe you can make it rhyme. Remember, we did eat and we did meat. We did eat and heat. We did eat and we did sweet. What's a treat that you'd like to eat? <gasps> Those two words rhyme, eat and treat. Anyway, boys and girls, I'm hungry, so we've got to go. Wave high, wave low. I think it's time we've got to go. Wiggle your fingers and wink your eyes and blow a kiss and wave goodbye. Until next time, boys and girls, have a great day. Bye.